She was kidnapped and then found murdered. It's a crime that stunned all Mainers. Today, for the first time, we're hearing from the father of Nicole Cable, and what he has to say is disturbing. New Senator Samantha Edwards spoke with the grieving father about how he copes and how he thinks the death of his daughter was handled. Samantha? That's right, Chris. David Cable has been unwilling to go on camera, choosing to deal with the, his daughter's murder in private. He did finally agree to talk because he feels the death of his daughter is being exploited by Nicole's mother. You don't really get used to it, but you kind of do. You know, it's when you, you live with pain long enough, you learn to ignore it, you know, or deal with it better. David Cable says he tries to remember his daughter Nicole by the little moments they shared. She'd always come in and sit down and put her feet on my lap, you know. Or if her feet were cold, she'd jam them up underneath my butt and wiggle them. For him, May 12th was a nightmare. I know she didn't run away, and that was hard enough. You always hope for the best, and as things start looking worse, you know, the best situation starts to look worse. But what David Cable says is his nightmare, living in the days without Nicole, and knowing her face is still in the media. I don't turn on the TV. Want nothing to do with it? Nothing. David says what bothers him is Nicole's mother, Christine Wiley, discussing how Nicole's death could have been prevented, or what he calls painting a false picture of his little girl. The more Christine tries to make herself out to be the mom that she wasn't, I think it makes my daughter look more like a, more, you know, like a bad person. And she wasn't. Any 15-year-old is going to do whatever they want if they don't have a parent to say no. David says Christine's push to spread awareness about online safety or apps to keep track of children would not have saved his daughter. The app wouldn't have helped because uh, she was meeting somebody that she knew or she thought she knew. I mean, she knew the guy this person was pretending to be. So the app wouldn't have, wouldn't have done any good. Better parenting would have. David says prosecutors told the family not to discuss the case, not even to raise awareness because it could have bad effects on the trial. That alone should be enough to stop somebody, you know, a parent. Do you feel like Nicole is being remembered for the daughter that you knew? I feel like she's being exploited. We did reach out to Christine Wiley for several days to get a response to all this and have not received a call back. Now, during this interview, David Cable told me he believes the Nicole Cable Fund set up by Nicole's mom, Christine Wiley, is being misused. And a recent hearing in court seems to support this accusation. In a few minutes, we'll play recordings of Christine Wiley in court saying how she spent the Nicole Cable Fund.